Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Victor and I'm going to show you how to make this wavy lines on Illustrator. Believe me, it's really not that difficult. Just follow along with the tutorial and I promise you that you're going to be able to create something like this or even better. All right, so the first thing I'm going to do is go to file new and then right here I'm going to work with a 1920 by 1080 pixels artboard and I'm going to leave it as RGB and I'm going to leave this as high resolution and I'm going to hit create. Now you can do whatever size you want, of course, but uh, this is just what I'm doing. So I'm going to grab my layers on the right hand side and I'm going to create a second one on the first layer selected. What I'm going to do is create a background. I'm going to type in the letter M and quick parenthesis, as you can see on the bottom, uh, you will see whatever I'm typing on my keyboard in case I forget to mention it. I'm going to type the letter M on my keyboard. So that's going to give me the rectangle tool i'm going to click anywhere and then i'm going to type in 1920 by 1080 then i'm going to hit ok now without clicking anywhere what i'm going to do is go to my top options right here where it says align to artboard i'm going to make sure that is aligned to artboard and i'm going to align it horizontally and vertically now on my left hand side my stroke i don't want any stroke on it but the fill i'm actually going to choose a blue so i'm going to double click here and I'm just going to use this slider right here and make it kind of like a deep blue so almost black but just very very dark blue yeah this is good now I'm gonna go to my layers and then I'm going to lock this layer so just clicking right here will lock the layer and then I won't be able to edit anything in that layer so I'm going to go to my next layer and this is where all the fonts gonna happen so I'm going to switch the fill and the stroke to here and then I'm gonna double click the stroke and I'm gonna make it white. And that's what I want. Now with the letter B, I'm going to get my brush tool. So it's just gonna look like that. And this is where you can get creative. So first I'm gonna zoom out just a little bit, command minus, a little more, command minus. So I can have a better idea of what I'm doing in my artboard. So with the brush selected and my stroke selected right here and being white so that I can see what I'm doing. I am going to create some lines. So the first line I'm just going to make kind of like a U shape, but it's like super wavy, just just like that. And then my second line I'm going to create to the left of it, and then I'm going to intersect it randomly. So for instance, I'm going to just, you know, do this just like so. So now I have these two random lines. So what I'm going to do is grab both of them and then go to object blend and then blend options and then I'm going to go to specify steps and I'm going to leave it at 8 and then hit OK and then go to object, blend and make and then I end up with something like this now we're almost there so the fun thing here is that we're going to grab my lines and then I'm going to give it a gradient so on my stroke selected I'm going to tap on gradient and then on the right hand side as you can see I have the gradient options so I have two colors right now. I'm going to add two more. So just randomly here. And then I'm going to double click this little circle. Make sure I'm on my swatches. And then I'm just going to select colors here randomly. So that red one and then this like orangey one. And then maybe this uh, yellow one. And then maybe uh, this bright blue. So something like this. And you can adjust them however you want so i do like that look so i'm going to leave it so i'm going to grab this and in my case um, i'm liking how this is looking so i'm going to leave it like that and then i'm just going to go to object blend and then blend options and then right here for my specified steps i'm just going to uh, increment them just a little bit that looks pretty good now so that you can see in real time what you're doing uh, hit preview just don't forget to do that and yeah i like the 15 i like the width of the line and i like the gaps between them i think it's i think it looks good so i'm gonna hit okay now you can keep editing this as much as you want by uh, going to the blend options so object blend and blend options you can increase or decrease the number of lines as you can see so my sweet spot right here was 15 and i'm gonna leave it like that so that is one way you can edit it and the second way is changing the colors of course so if you are on your stroke right here and then you go to the gradient panel you can definitely change all these colors or make it just one color whatever you want and the other way that you can edit it is by going to the strokes panel right here our stroke panel and increasing or decreasing the weight of the um of the line so mine uh one seems to be working fine i'm going to do 0.5 just because i'm curious and um I don't know if this works better actually it does i like it better this way 
Um, no, I like it better this way at one. So anyway, so this is what my lines are going to look like. And uh, the other way that you can edit it is think of this as two lines. So I'm going to zoom in just a little bit and think, uh, think of this design as only two lines. So it's going to be this line right here on the bottom and this line on the top. So if you edit this line, let's say that you grab this line and you move it, the rest of the lines follow, as you can see. So think about it that way that you're editing only two lines and then it obviously affects the ones in the middle. So if you want to select or uh, change some curves that you probably didn't like, get your direct selection tool with typing the letter A. You can basically play around with all the anchor points or the angles and whatnot, and uh, you can make whatever changes you want to it. Now, the final step for me is going to be to um, grab my design and make it go past my artboard. So for instance, if I hold down shift and I just kind of drag out like this, and then maybe just a little bit more that way. And then just a little lower, a little lower, just like that. So now that I have this, what I'm going to do is go to my layers panel, and then I'm going to create another rectangle. So with the letter M, I'm going to click here anywhere, and then 1920 by 1080, I'm gonna hit okay. Now with this selected, I'm going to go to my align to artboard and then I'm going to horizontal and vertically align it and then I'm going to hit the letter V for my direct selection tool now command A to grab everything and then command 7 and it makes a clip and mask and it just kind of clips out what you don't need now for the clip and mask to work that last rectangle that I did needs to be on top of the lines so anyway this is how you create those fancy wavy lines that you see online sometimes it's not super difficult as you can see all right my friends thank you so much for watching please subscribe to my channel give it a thumbs up and share with your friends and if you want to learn something different let me know what and I will do a tutorial for you